Haracha, additions to Esther, one. In the second year of the reign of Artach Shashta, the great, in the first day of the month, Nichan, Mordechai, the son of Yair, the son of Shemi, the son of Kish, of the tribe of Binyamin, had a dream, who was a Yahudi and dwelt in the city of Shusha, a great man being a servitor in the king's court. He was also one of the captives which Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babel, carried from Yerushalayim with Yokanyahu, king of Yahuda, and this was his dream. Behold, a noise of a tumult with thunder and earthquakes and uproar in the land. And behold, two great dragons came forth ready to fight, and their cry was great. And at their cry, all nations were prepared to battle that they might fight against the righteous people. And lo, a day of darkness and obscurity, tribulation and anguish, affliction and great uproar upon earth. And the whole righteous nation was troubled, fearing their own evils, and were ready to perish. Then they cried unto Elohim, and upon their cry, as it were from a little fountain, was made a great flood, even much water. The light and the sun rose up, and the lowly were exalted, and devoured the glorious. Now when Mordechai, who had seen this dream, and what Elohim had determined to do, was awake, he bore this dream in mind, and until night, by all means, was desirous to know it. 